So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. These are thousands of Permesia, these are single-celled protists, and today I'm going to feed them, yes, <laughs> red hot chili pepper. Well, I'm going to use a yellow one. It doesn't matter because this substance that uh, is so hot is called capsaicin, and uh, many of these Permesia, they die when they get a too high of a concentration of this substance, and uh, I'm going to show this to you, but of course there is a little bit of science also involved here, because I'm also going to try to use lower concentrations, and I've discovered that this actually might also anesthetize them, and this is very convenient, because when they stop moving, then it's easier uh, to observe them. Well, I'm going to show you first uh, how their normal movement is, and then later on how I'm going to add some of this uh, chili pepper substance uh, to the Paramecia. Well, I've taken a water sample, uh, I've been breeding them and growing them, and uh, you can see here the normal movement is, is they move around uh, yeah, in a more or less a straight manner, and uh, yeah, when they bump into an object, then they reverse uh, the direction, that's normally the things that they do. And uh, this is the normal movement, and uh, you can also see here, even at a higher concentration, um, they start to move around in a very yeah, normal way. And uh, later on, I'm going to add a little bit uh, of this uh, chili, and and what I'm going to do now is I'm simply I cut off a little piece um, of uh, the spicy chili and I squeeze it very hard to squeeze out uh, the yeah the sap uh, of the chili, and this is of course uh, the liquid that uh, I'm going to be using and that I'll be adding uh, to the paramecia. Now. What I've been doing is the following. I've been first squeezing it out, and then I did not directly mix it in with the paramecia yet, but I added uh, the substance a little bit later, and I also tried to dil dilute it a little bit, and I tried different concentrations, and I discovered that depending on the concentration, the paramecia started to behave a little bit differently. So this is now the normal movement of uh, the paramecia. You can see that uh, very few of them are actually in resting. Um, almost all of them are moving around. And uh, when I added a little bit of this uh, right now, this uh, capsaicin um, containing uh, sap, uh, then uh, it slowly started to, dif to diffuse beneath the cover glass. And then look what happens. Um, they stop moving. Uh, that's kind of an interesting observation. Apparently, a low concentration of uh, the chili uh, anesthetizes them. And I think that's very convenient uh, because this way you can observe them much better and you can also observe much better of what is going on inside the cell. Uh, normally, if you want to calm down paramecia, what you do is, is you add a highly viscous substance uh, that uh, kind of slows them down a little bit because then they cannot move as freely anymore. But apparently, um, a little bit of this substance here is also having uh, an effect here. Um, at a slightly higher concentration, look what they're doing. They're starting to spin. Yeah, they're actually rotating around one of the axes and uh, they're starting to rotate it around and moving to one direction. But that's also quite interesting. That's uh, um, also something new that I discovered. And this uh, is only when the concentration seems to be a little bit, uh, a little bit higher. But then, um, if uh, you wait a little bit longer, then you see that actually many of them actually start to die off and they stop moving. And uh, then, yeah, they're dead, <laughs> as we've already seen before. But right now, the concentration not, is not yet high enough. But here, if you move down a little bit, you can see that many of them already have died. And uh, then, of course, uh, yeah, they're just scattered around. It's a little bit uh, pretty sad looking, I have to tell you. <laughs> but then again, I've got uh, so many more in my little jar and middle glass because I've been breeding them uh, precisely um, for this very purpose. Now, they do not have a nervous system. That's also very important uh, because I know that some of the viewers are going to be very upset because of that, because I already made previous videos where I've uh, shown some of those paramecia to die because uh, they, yeah, they lysed, they uh, broke open, and uh, then some people got very upset. But I can assure you they don't have a nervous system and therefore they're not able to feel any pain. And ultimately, they're going to die anyway when the water sample dries up. And here you see that uh, over here that some of them have already uh, stopped moving. And here what we see here now this line, this is uh, the edge of the cover glass. And uh, you're able to see that here on uh, your uh, left side, this is uh, the sp uh, area where there is a high concentration of uh, the chili. And on the right side, this is where the cover glass is, is and this is where this the safe area. And as soon as some of those paramecia are swimming out of the cover glass uh, into the, the chilly area, then they immediately start to spin very rapidly and they start to move off. Uh, so this kind of uh, 
kind of messes up a little bit uh, the function of uh, of the cilia i guess yeah some of them you might also be able to see that they're moving back beneath the cover glass and then they're safe again but uh, just compare the movement a little bit yeah those uh, beneath the cover glass are kind of moving relatively normally but as soon as they go into the left area into the dangerous danger zone so to say they start to spin very quickly and they start to move very and sh almost shoot off very quickly but this is only observable at a higher concentration because at a lower concentration concentration they kind of stop movement uh, stop moving and it kind of uh, anesthetizes them um, as i showed you before yeah here again now here the danger area is on the right side and as you see as soon as it moves over it starts to spin and uh, that that's it all right um now is it the capsaicin actually or could it be any other substance well maybe of course uh, it's possible that it uh, maybe other substances are also involved here but um we know that uh, capsaicin actually has a highly disinfectant uh, uh, function and the Therefore, spicy food can be stored also uh, much better. Also in warm regions uh, in the world, people often eat very spicy food because uh, it prevents actually the growth of, uh, of microorganisms. Uh, here again, you can see that uh, they're moving from one area into the other one and then they immediately start uh, yeah, um, to go out of control a little bit and, and to die. Here it already died before it was even able to reach uh, the highly concentrated area here. Well. This is a very interesting one. I've all of a sudden seen that uh, many of them were clustered together and moving. And the reason is, is because uh, everywhere else there was the chili um, liquid. And so they kind of moved away from it and they kind of clustered together in that area, which was still safe. Um, and uh, the further away you go, you can see that the, the more they start spinning and going out of control, because this is uh, the place uh, where the concentration is much higher. Yeah. Here again, you see many of them um, spinning around and uh, yeah, ultimately then dying. Um, and uh, sometimes they're spinning uh, one axis in other cases uh, among the other axis, axis. So it's kind of a little bit uh, completely out of control. That's something that I would actually study a little bit further um, by not using a chili like this, but actually using a pure capsaicin um, powder or substance or um, yeah, I'd have to dissolve it, I guess, in a little bit in, in a little bit of, of oil or so because the substance is not very well dissolvable in water. But here you see they are now rotating into the other direction here. Now I wonder why this is the case uh, and uh, I think uh, kind of interesting to see how the response is different depending on different uh, concentrations here. Um, but uh, this one already was at a higher concentration. If it's too high then they stop moving right away and then you have even seen that some of the cells actually popped open um, and spilled their cell contents. So it's, it's quite interesting to see the effect of uh, disinfecting substances, natural disinfecting substances on, the, on microorganisms here. Um, and if you also look very carefully then you're also sometimes able to see that uh, they also change their shape a little bit um, and they also start to lose water a little bit uh, here again they start spinning around and dancing around it's a very um, unusual uh, behavior and then others again spin along the longitudinal axis yeah lots of things that one can um, experiment uh, around here now what, what i have to do now is, is i have to of course also check uh, this uh, with uh, maybe um, other peppers that do not contain that are not so spicy uh, because maybe it's uh, all these are also other substances that can be found uh, in plants uh, that have a certain effect on the movement uh, uh, of the paramis it doesn't have to be the spicy substance uh, i've been just assuming this because uh, the literature actually documents uh, that uh, it's a spicy substance that actually um, has this disinfectant uh, uh, property yeah here uh, they look a little bit thicker right now because the cover glass is uh, kind of sw squeezing them a little bit and therefore they're only able to rotate in one direction here and this is why they also look a little bit um, thicker and they cannot move quite as quickly because of the weight of the cover glass and they're kind of sandwiched between cover glass uh, and and microscope slide yeah i think i'm going to leave it at that uh, there are plenty of more things that i'm going to experiment in the future yeah but for right now Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.